Viticulture has dominated the village of Barbaresco's landscape in Italy's northwestern Piemonte's region since the 16th century. In 1859, Giovanni Gaia set up his eponymous winery in the hamlet that sits on top of a hill entirely surrounded by vineyards. Angelo Gaia, Giovanni's grandson, and his wife Lucia now run the business with their three children, the fifth generation of Gaias. You cannot force children to, to continue the family business. Uh, but I believe that the children need to be cultivated and step by step they have to know about the family business and to reach as large as possible knowledge. And even when the children are able to get in the winery, it's important to give them the chance of going on with their own project. Angelo's own father was an innovator and encouraged him to think differently. He promptly set about revolutionizing Italian winemaking by introducing foreign grape varieties and experimenting with longer aging techniques with the precision of a craftsman. Gaia, Angelo's eldest, took her father's guidance in education and tradition with an emphasis on innovation. The importance of uh, doing things in a different way, so very important, this is something that my father stressed every day. There would be no quality without uh, searching for difference. So quality comes from a research of doing things in a different way and for us in specific it means by having a different approach trying to adapt even more our vines to our territory for example but also is by having a different way of communicating a different design uh, trying always to push it for, for doing something different, which is also a good recipe for fight uh, globalization. Another global influence is the threat of climate change. Gaia's sister Rosanna is in charge of future-proofing the business, literally from the ground up. The family guards the ecology of the winery by employing methods such as cover crops that retain more organic matter and water in the soil. They keep bees to promote better pollination and are in the process of exploring viticulture at higher altitudes. The climate change over the last 15, 20 years has resulted in a temperature raising and rainfall ranging from less frequent to torrential. So it was important for us to reconsider the work in our vineyard because we needed to protect the soil. We think that the best way to take care of our plants is to increase as much as possible the life in the vineyards, is to increase the biodiversity, and we don't want to work with chemical products. Do we apply all these methods because we think to produce a better wine? We have no certainty about this, but this is our method and our philosophy of work, and we created this philosophy with many, many years of study, of experience and trials. For a family business to thrive, it is necessary for the current generation to trust the instincts of those that follow. Angelo has taken steps back from the management to allow his children to make their own decisions. In turn, the children are respectful of what their father did to shape the winery. I think that uh, the secret of this uh, success is uh, the fact that uh, each generation always respected what the previous generation had done. They always respected their achievement and they worked to even outperform this uh, achievement. Each uh, generation always uh, took decisions and uh, worked in a way that was uh, aiming at uh, gaining the same uh, objective, the same uh, goal, which was uh, protection and uh, the increase of the quality of the wines. This notion of passing the torch, educating each subsequent generation, is key to the guy's success. There is a family motto that neatly describes their approach. My grandmother told me, and after my father, many times, you have to become an artisan. To become an artisan, there are four steps. And the uh, grandmother was used to telling me in France, because uh, she uh, studied in Chambéry. And uh, she told me, faire, savoir faire, savoir faire, faire, faire savoir. And my father, in Italian, fare, saper fare, saper far fare, far sapere. So this was, for me, was uh, 
very important uh, lesson to become an artisan.